Buddhas on the cliffside, Longman Grottoes. This is the Yihe River. It runs through the suburbs of the ancient capital of Luoyang. The Longman Grottoes are one of the three largest grotto sites in China. The large Buddha statue inside this cave was carved in the 7th century during the Tang Dynasty. More than 100,000 Buddhist statues were carved here over a 400-year period. The oldest cave dates back to the year 494, the time of the Northern Wei Dynasty. Inscriptions on the wall around each Buddha statue explain why it was carved. During the early period, they were mainly carved for individuals. Then state carvings began. This seated Buddha statue was commissioned by Xuan Wu, the seventh emperor of the Northern Wei dynasty. The statue is made to resemble his father, Xiao Wen. Buddhism was the national religion of the Northern Wei dynasty, and its emperor was regarded as a reincarnation of Buddha. Hardly any new grottoes were made after the fall of the dynasty in the middle of the sixth century. Grotto construction resumed during the Tang dynasty. Feng Xianxi Cave was built in 675 on the order of Gao Zong, the third emperor of the Tang dynasty. The Vairokana Buddha statue in the main hall is 17 meters high. It's believed the statue was built with a donation from the Empress Wu Zetian. There are statues of the Bodhisattva Buddhist disciples and other Vairodhara images around the central Vairokana figure. They are regarded as the great masterpieces of Buddhist art during the Tang dynasty. About 60% of the grottoes were made during the Tang period. Wan Fo cave contains thousands of carved Buddha statues. Some are less than 10 centimeters high. The Longmen grottoes were at their height during construction of this cave. It had remained hidden for 1500 years before it was discovered during the 20th century. It was sadly looted shortly afterwards. Dilapidation at the site has become an important issue in recent years. Water comes out from cracks because of faults in the mountain rock. Restoration work is constant but the material used for repairs soon decays. This is creating a new set of problems. A conservation project is underway with the collaborative support of China, Japan and UNESCO.